What more do you want from me? The goat. <laughs> Welcome to the Four Brothers Podcast. That, that was just a little bit of the, the uh, what was the whole thing <laughs> of uh, one of our past videos with uh, with uh, Big Six J and uh, Rick Star spitting uh, some lyrical, uh, some fire, some lyrical miracle, Hot fire, <laughs> something like yeah. yeah so <laughs> today we have in the house. Uh, Peter Manfredo Jr., or otherwise known as the Pride of Providence. Oh, thank you very much. Rhode <laughs> Island legend. Yeah. yeah. No he, joke. He came He came hit us up, and uh, guys like, uh, he's like one of my big brothers. I have a big three of like my big brothers growing up. It was obviously my big brother, uh, Big Six. And then it was Peter Manfredo Jr. and Matt Goffrey. Those same, are the guys that I, I looked up to every single day in my youth and probably kept me from doing a lot of dumb stuff, beside my father. Yeah. Mm. I appreciate that because, you know, I, I consider you the same as, you know, you're my brother. Yeah. These are all my brothers. You, Eric, E, Jason, yeah. and Cam. I was the baby. Yeah. 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 Cam came up together. Shit. Around. Yeah. Cam had a mullet back then. Man, <laughs> I, had the, I had the greatest influences, though, man, watching you guys. Nobody, nobody was in trouble. Nobody was getting arrested. Nobody was carrying guns, acting stupid. Man, I just had the best influences around. Yeah. What's so, funny is that. All that shit we went through. This guy's the one who, gets, who got arrested first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We 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 for, for nonsense, though. For beating somebody up or yeah, something, right? Slap somebody around. <laughs> North Carolina's high school. That's try, what happens. Try to bully me. Yeah. It's not going to go down. It's not going to go your way. Wait, like, that never happened. When, that never happened. Yeah, what was it? 19, 19 what? 19... Keep capping. 1987? 88? No, 1987, right? What? When I started boxing? No, the, no, that we met at, uh, at the gym. Me and oh, I met in Nav, yeah. Probably. 1987, probably, I think it was. Damn. Wait, God let's, damn. Uh, let's give it a second. Pete, do you want to introduce yourself? Because uh, for, for oh, people, yeah, yeah. Who, people are not from Providence. Because for some reason, the, uh, the, I think uh, they still know Pete, though. The uh, podcast thing? No, but there were guys from like freaking Germany and Russia and the Netherlands listening yeah. to us on yeah. podcasts, which was really funny. Well, that's cool. Yeah. You know uh, I mean? Shout so, out to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> My, yeah, name, give my name is Peter Manfredo Jr., yep. professional boxer, and now just a, a family man, hard worker. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, nice. T- tell us, what's some of the, the years that um, the big stuff was happening? What year was the contender first started? What years were you undefeated? Um, what, what year did you first go pro? Because that's all great stuff. Well, I turned professional in 2000. Um, I was undefeated 21-0. Uh, and 0. I went on the contender nice. show. Mm. And that's when I got my first defeat with Alfonso Gomez. Yep. And then I fought him a couple of days later on the rematch. I mean, it, it looked like a, a couple of weeks later because that's how they ran the Yeah, season. it did. Yeah, it yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it was a couple, of, I don't know, maybe a week later, I fought him in the rematch and, you know, ended up beating him and making it to the final. But, and that was crazy because you came back to the show. And then yeah. you got to hang your gloves back up. And that was, that was crazy. That's yeah. a great clip. Your Providence yeah. was going wild. Oh, man. This guy put Providence on his back. That was, that was crazy. ESPN. Yeah, definitely. Um, that was hella good. Yeah. yeah, I did good. I had a good career. You know, um, I came up. Jason was actually probably the best boxer out of my father's gym at that time. Uh, and Matt was right there, too. Um, and I was probably the third out of, out of the three. You know, um, they would win the national championships. They would always make it to the end, and I would I would make it to the nationals, but I'd probably be the first one out or, or win a fight and be out. Well, it, it, it's the truth. It is what it is. And then these guys would would win, bring home national titles. You know. Yeah. Um. I didn't I didn't start getting good till I became pro. You know. Oh yeah, we saw that. Yeah. yeah. If if uh, YouTube and social media was uh, what it is now, then. Dude, you, he would be the guy that, that's on freaking TikTok and having like a freaking yeah. a billion views and, and, and caking. Definitely. Well, probably not because I'm not too bright. Well, well somebody else would do it. <laughs> so so, did it for you. You somebody else would have did it for you. Yeah, you oh, a shot was a butter knife. You know what I'm Half of the motherfuckers don't know what they're doing anyway. They got somebody else doing that shit. Have you looked at TikTok? No. If, if you ever look at TikTok, to, yeah, the, the people on TikTok, some of them, some of the ones that are like uh, have like, uh, you know, Way too many views. It's just nonsense. It, it, somebody like just looking to a camera and repeating something else somebody else said with yeah. a voiceover. I feel like we cried too 100, hard. 100,000 views. We try too hard sometimes. Yeah, we do. Someone mm-hmm. else is making way more than you and doing way less. Always. Huh. Gotta Always. learn how to make money while you sleep. It's a TikTok for Damn, you. Damn, that reminds me of that unemployment. 
bit. Oh yeah, those, numbers came out today. Those guys are making money while they sleep. You gotta hear these numbers, man. Why 80, would you? Why would you go, go ahead? Eighty-one percent of people were making more than their job. And we already knew that, but eighty-one percent. Why would you go back to work? Yeah, Nobody right. was going back to work. Yeah, the system's why fucked would up. They? Yep. Right. And then <laughs> when they they decreased it from six hundred to three hundred, um, fi- only fifty-three percent were making more than they would at work. Now they can solve that problem by just having a cap on it. You can mm-hmm. make up to six hundred. If you wasn't making six hundred, you don't get six hundred. Right. Yeah. If you was making three hundred, you getting one fifty. Yeah. Because yeah. we gotta make you want to go back to work. Yeah. Uh-oh. Not fucking yep. give you six hundred. Why would I go back? Unbelievable. It's crazy. What, what? That's what happened. People didn't go back. Yeah. He, yeah. People like Linux. Linux working a job. Was he working? He, how much is he getting paid an hour? Oh no, he's doing I good. Know. He's yeah. doing good. Yeah, Buying he, PS4s for Christmas. Yeah. He, and then <laughs> and then he got unemployment and <laughs> the PS4s. He did, listen, that's not just that was the last one. I'm talking about the beginning when he was first started kicking. He was yeah. Jesus. Him, Every time I turn around, him, he was buying for sneakers merit. Him oh, and uh, Tatiana. Oh yeah. yeah. Him and Tatiana, they were kicking because they had a job prior to the uh yep. the, the the close the, uh, the the shutdown or something like that. So then yeah. they would get unemployment, but they were making more than they were freaking normally making. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. That's shit sick. So the history, we got to talk about the history with me and Pete. Oh, we got to. Yeah, definitely. Is do it, you, is do it what you I'm remember? Thinking? Is it the what, what I'm thinking? My pleasant shit. My pleasant. Do I you heard re- that story. Do you remember Michael Abadoui? Of course. <laughs> A lot of people don't don't know don't know that story, right? So Tales I don't. From the I, crypt. I, I don't. I do not remember why you guys had an issue. I have no idea. All I remember is my saying, "Hey, let's go across the street and fight it out yeah, at the right. gas station." Right. So. There was this girl in the school, Dan- oh. Danielle Cotamash. I guess she liked me a little bit or oh, whatever. And I guess he was dating her at the time, but she liked me. So he didn't like that, and he said, you know, I want to fight you because mm. she likes you. I'm like, really? Over a girl because she likes me? I didn't even do nothing with her. I didn't mess with her nothing. So I said, okay. So wait, I, wait, wait. What, what's the age difference here? Oh, I sorry. heard he was like. No, he, he was probably a like grown 30, man. He's probably like thirty-five. Yeah, no, 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 because it was he, he stayed. He's yo. He was like he had to be there. Like maybe, maybe he probably stayed back in the twelfth grade. Like fucking like like four times, five times. Probably didn't, yeah. they didn't they didn't promote his ass, but he was a big strong motherfucker too. Yeah, he was he was stronger than me. He was bigger than me a little bit, but you know I was gonna throw it down. You yeah, know? but he he kept getting me down, and he got me down. He slammed me down, and then he started headbutting me, which he cut my eye. Pretty yep. good. Like I was doing all right uh, up top, but then he knew mm-hmm. that, so he could take me down and, and and get me on the ground. And then my, my big brother Jason started kicking him. <laughs> I, I, I had to. I had, I had people helping me out. You know, yeah. I had to. I had to punt that motherfucker's head like it was like there was three seconds left, and we, we was down by one. <laughs> yeah. Adam Vinatieri. Yeah. I had to. I had right. to because right. he was he, he was just too strong. Yeah. I wasn't gonna fight him either. I don't care. That, that nigga was big. I was. Oh nope. I'm not fighting this dude. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a ruin these Tims on his face. Now, but I ruined them. But you have my back though. So, yeah. well, I had to you know, shit. So now we brothers. Well, we were always brothers, but now that clarified right there. You can't, you can't walk back. around and let you get fucked up like yeah, that that's now. That's right. You know, I got your back. You have mine. I got yours. That, 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 that was that was a real. And it's still like that. You catch us together. There's no one on one. Uh, absolutely, absolutely not. Come on. <laughs> that one on one stuff don't make no sense to what? me. I'm like, why are we getting paid for this? Yeah, true. It, like, there's no. There's no reason for me to fight you one on one. You should be able to resolve the problem without it, but at least it's still better than shooting. Well, that's that's, that's why yeah. I was going to say that. Dude, no one fights anymore. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. No one oh, yeah. fights. Oh, yeah, anymore. now, yeah. yeah. Well, well they're going to have to shoot. You should be able to fight. You should be able to handle your They're going to have but. to shoot. If one of you guys are fighting, they're going to have to shoot because um, I don't care if you're winning. I'm coming in. I'm coming yeah, flying yeah. Like, like Jimmy Superfly yeah, Slicker. Yeah, yeah. No one on one. <laughs> the we, top rope with the OB. We, We've had that happen before, though, Jay. Forget it. Yeah. You remember that when at the basketball court? Uh, that indoor basketball court. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Um, I got to frame with the dude. Uh, name was Ernest. Too. Y- years ago, his name was Ernest, man. I, I was a, it was it was funny because um, it's funny cause we're playing basketball. Everything is going good. Rolling blocks and shit. He's on the opposite team. He grabs the ball, and hits Rolling. So I'm like, oh, oh, oh! I throw, start throw the ball back at him. Now, now we going back and forth. We, we he feeds in my face. I'm in his face. I'm looking at his hands. I'm thinking he's gonna he's gonna try to throw a punch. I'm ready to move. This cocksucker hit head butts me right in my eye <laughs> to the point where my eye was split wide open. He thinks it's over. He he's like, Yeah, yeah, I'm bleeding, my shit leaking. I'm trying to break his neck, choke him out. People break it up. And he's like, Yeah, yeah, box that shit, box that shit. So he thought it was over. Cause I was leaking. I was like, This ain't this ain't I took the shirt off, let's go. We fighting, we in the car, we fight, he's swinging, he's swinging. He swung one time and missed. 
I cracked him so fucking hard his legs just wobble. He tried to grab me. Mm-hmm. I picked him up and, and threw him over my head. He slammed on his back. I just started pounding him out. Right? We th- he thinks it's over still. I want more. People break it up. They say, oh, the cops outside. I say, I don't care. I don't care. He walks back and, no, I'm good. I don't want no more, man. I'm good. I'm good. No one steals him. <laughs> fucking Roland. Oh, Roland cracked this dude in his mouth. I swear to God, I think he broke his jaw. <laughs> All the punches I landed, that one punch, it did something. Caught him with his mouth from the something because he was like, he like, and I was on the wrong side too. I hit it with my left hand. Now when you don't see. If I was on the right side, it was like one of those like you run by, you hit somebody, and you keep uh, going. It was he almost was a jail charge though. He was huge. It was almost a jail charge for super fact that right after Roland hit him, oh yeah, go Steve. Oh, yeah. But Steve went. Steve had a chain on his hand. <laughs> Steve went running to, to to steal him, and dude grabbed Steve. Yeah. If that was grown men, because there was kids. Which was like fourteen. Yeah, we were teenagers. We were young. There was kids. I was I was nineteen. You know my perspective of that story. I remember that story. You come into Pop's house when it was all said I, and done. I, I leak. I just leak him. I leak. Had a t-shirt. It was all red. It was used to be a white t-shirt. Where the, where the hell was I at? Uh, you I got the story too. I missed. The I shit. think you guys. You might have been in the other room. Like, no, like, I wasn't. You wasn't, you wasn't I there wasn't at all. There. No, I, I think there. he was. He wasn't there with us. I was somewhere else. It was me, you, and Steve. Story. It was, it's, it's, it was a beautiful story. All them fight stories, there's so many of them. Yep. If 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 we did that, with the show, whole show would be taken up with stories of whooping people's asses. <laughs> and that, that time when you had to get stitches, that fight, uh, was that, did you have a fight coming up? Did that fuck anything up? Um, No, I don't, not, not, not for that, not for that, nah. I was, shit, I was still amateurs. Shit, you're lucky, because you were fighting every weekend back yeah, then. Yeah, it was still, still amateur shit, so I, I don't think it had nothing coming up. But. Yeah. You had to fight in Mount Pleasant back then, you know, you had to fight. And he was able to fight yeah. back in the day. Like, there was no cameras. Now there's cameras everywhere. Yeah. You take a piss. You take a piss outside the wrong way, you're getting caught. Oh, you there's get also charge. dummies with, like, guns and knives, too, so. Yeah, so it, it, the society has changed. It's gotten soft. Guys, like, acting like women. They try to freaking cut your face or something like that instead of just yeah. fight you. Oh, oh, shit. We can go on a long time about this, man. <laughs> no more fathers in the household. <laughs> Y'all need pops. Y'all need That's why I don't break up fights. I don't break up fights because I've seen two girls fighting. And nah. the dude went and broke him up, and he got sliced up. Because one girl pulled him out. I said, I'm good. I'll let these broads fight. I want you beat the shit out of each other. I'm not getting in that. Plus, I don't want to get a sexual harassment charge. Grab a girl the wrong way. Titty, titty mysteriously jumps in my hand. I can squeeze the nipple a little bit. That's pretty <laughs> I liked it. I mean. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God, man. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm not hooked up. Uh, I don't know why. I can't get on it. But. Yeah. What's your life? The, the the YouTube is not asking me to cast. I don't know oh, oh, what's that over there? Where they coughing and shit? Somebody in the Somebody audience coughing in the studio? <laughs> it's it's, it's a, small a, in here. It's a very big building, though, so. What you think about fucking, uh, about about these fights coming up? It's, uh, what are uh, coming up? This, this Floyd shit. Oh, I didn't hear. You're the first one telling me about it. No, you hear about this? Dubai. 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 Yeah, it's, it's, this shit's gonna be on a. So it's uh, du- a. A helipad? That's what fight's gonna be on. I heard it's on I a, a no rooftop. Idea. Yeah, it's, it's on a hel- it's on a helipad. Yep. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't want to even be there. That shit looks small. Right out. Seats are gonna cost like two hundred thousand a piece or three hundred thousand a piece, something like that. Some I heard it was supposed to be upwards of thirty million that Floyd was guaranteed you know, to, you know, to fight a nineteen year old kid who's calls himself the richest kid in Dubai. His father's a billionaire. Who Mayweather? Yeah. yeah, I don't even know. So this doesn't yeah, even this doesn't even sound like like he's even gonna hurt the kid. It's like your father's a billionaire. And I seen another YouTube video where they were actually hanging out. So mm. They're probably just gonna go in there and do some Make WWE some shit. Right. So, <laughs> it, it, the thing about that is, so if you if he hurts the kid in Dubai, yeah, he might not come back. He may not get out of Dubai. Yeah, all the security <laughs> guys not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> he he has no security there. They can't they can't carry no weapons. They can't do nothing. Mm. Yeah. He's, you know, yeah, sh- yeah, money's nothing. You're you're a poor man over there in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a billionaire. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah, a billionaire, and with billionaires around him. Like he, he got partial. Um, I don't know the facts or anything, but I think he has partial ownership in like a exotic rental cars out there. He's always doing commercials for them, so I'm like, oh, he must have some stakes in this. But he he rents exotic cars in, in Dubai too. That guy got a hand in everything, man. Yeah, that motherfucker, yeah. He's he. I seen new commercials for who? Who does it? For Come on, Floyd. Shit. Floyd? Floyd in Dubai. Yep. Yeah. So how, yeah. so how he he didn't pay Logan Paul yet? Yeah. 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 yeah he still <laughs> Logan Paul some money. Paul looking for that Perfect. money, man. Perfect. Yep. And yo, know, he didn't pay Logan Paul money, and also he he never told him that they were they were streaming the music to Dubai. 
Yeah. Oh wow. And they made like an additional like, I think they said like six to ten million, mm. and never told him about it. So like Logan didn't get any piece of that either. Oh, isn't that isn't that one of the beefs that he had with Fifty? Fifty said he wasn't paying he wasn't paying guys or some shit. Um, yeah, Fifty um, didn't get paid, and he uh, he did WWE with Floyd when Floyd fought Big Show. Yeah. 50 was right there 50 uh, rapped when he came out He did an appearance he, He's the one that uh, He had Floyd uh, His uniform done for him And everything And then uh, When it was time to To get paid Floyd was like You don't need that That's why you don't work With your friends and family Like yep. like, like paying yep. Like yep. Stuff like that happens Yeah We're like We're not I mean like we're doing this This is a family thing You know We yep. got family yep. on And stuff like that But that Ain't nobody getting paid Like we don't, we don't have no money to pay people to the yeah. conference. So, you know, you want to come yeah. hang out? We're not getting paid. We're not making anything off this. Yeah. Oh, if, if, 500 bucks to come today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, 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 you giving our money? Uh, hey, pizza, I left work to come here. What's he talking uh, about? No money. What is this? <laughs> oh, this interview is over. He said, hey, hey. he said stop the capping. Yeah. Stop the capping. Oh, Pete, you be, have you seen these guys, though, boxing, all these exhibitions? I haven't. You, I haven't. Haven't, nah, you heard about it, though, right? They're making a fool of themselves. I, they make it all I money. don't even know because I, I just get up and go to work. I'm up at 2 30 yeah. in the morning. I go to work in Boston every day. Trust and I come me. home. I'm in bed at like 7 o'clock. So. You got to clear head. It's a good thing. You don't want these guys. Well, I got no choice. I got had so many concussions. I, uh, <laughs> 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 well, uh, you were supposed to fight in, uh, in Italy. Wasn't it what happened? Uh, yeah, so I had something going on with my right side, which I still do. And uh, I have a couple of MRIs. They don't know what it is. They thought it could have been MS, so I had a spinal tap. It wasn't MS. So I still have some numbness on my right side, but I'm gonna f- I am gonna. want to try to fight again. Uh, what are uh, you doing for work? It's not MS. I'm a, con- I'm a laborer. Labor construction, yeah. Work, so I work construction too. So it's hard on your body. Yeah. You got to look yeah, at... I'll tell, tell you what, if, if you fight again, we'll be blasting that stuff every single show, just like uh, Mike Tyson coming to visit anytime uh, <laughs> you want to come to the show... Uh, every single show, we'll let you know. You can call in at, at any time. Well, you're my brothers. Whenever time you call me, I'm here. Nice. You call me, be on the show, I said I'm here. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. Nice. And look, I'm selling my work clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so all good. I got a, I actually got a, um, Earl. Harris, Earl. Yeah. Earl, Earl, cause Earl he watches the show. He, he subscribed and all that shit. And he's, one of, he's one of the very few that actually hit me up and was like, yo, I love the fucking show. Fucking, I love how you guys keep it real. You ain't out here trying to hate on people. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to go up in there all extra flashy. Like, like it's a fashion show. You guys just, just real raw shit. He goes, you know, he, he basically showed all kind of love. And he, he been sharing the shit and, 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 and posting and all that shit. So, appreciate you. What up, Earl? Yeah, we're just no, no people big doing normal things. No, no. Nah, not, not that Earl. Earl. Uh, oh, other, other Earl. Other Earl. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was bigger. I remember he used to have me catching rebounds in chat. Oh no, yeah, he, he was robbing. <laughs> he, he was robbing he niggas, like man. Like a dollar for like two hundred rebounds. Yeah. And you, you think I was like money you though? Over. You I, like, you. I like money though. I was out there making it, leaving like three dollars. <laughs> oh man, yeah, he got the he got the, the eighty dollar haircuts now. Yeah, yeah he sell VIPs and shit. You can cut the line. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know how how good of a barber you got to be to sell VIPs. Yeah, he you got the shop. Hey, he, said, yo, oh, yo, that's my VIP. He got the fast pass. He got a car. He's and fast shit. pass like a Disney World. Does that mean you could cut somebody? <laughs> huh? VIP mean you could cut somebody? Yeah, he got some shit. I heard that's like that. He got he, like he, you're paying a certain amount regardless of what, and you can cut in front of people. What if what if you with the handicap? Pass. What if you got a wheelchair? You cut what? the line. He's good though. Nice. Earl's one. Of, Earl's one of the best. I'll tell you that. He's one of the fucking best I ever ever cut my hair. He nice. Yeah, he's cut mine too. Nice as hell. Just yeah, he yeah. cut mine because he cut yours. Yeah, so, yeah. so I started going to him. I don't know about that VIP shit. I'm like, <laughs> I be I be highly upset. Somebody cut me. Yeah, I yeah. wait for I wait for 20 minutes and you cut me. They are gonna look problem. at me. They are gonna look at me and see my face. You better use that VIP shit yeah. on somebody else. You better I get, cut right behind me, like you used to in high school. I did. I get my shit cut at uh, the Vincent spot now. So I walk in there and. I don't know what anyone's saying the whole time. They're just all talking Spanish back and forth. Oh, shit. They're talking. Yeah, <laughs> plug you talk. walk in or you make a time. Like you, Jack. Oh, no, no. Uh, at this no. time? I make I a make time. time. Yeah, I make a time. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, That's yeah, what I mean when, you, when you're saying, like, cut, people cut me. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, that's <laughs> exactly what I said. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. No, no. They explain it to me how, how that shit works. I said, that's fucking crazy. Basically, he paid. He paid extra. Money. He paid me money to cut you. Yeah, Pete's like this is gonna turn out like that high school story I told you. Oh, trying to shit. cut me. This ain't yeah. gonna work out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> this? No, 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 I, no, no, uh-uh. no. I go by times because I can't. I mean, working man, you can't 
You can't just like go into a place and then wait there for like freaking three hours or two yeah, and a half yeah, hours, you're guessing, hour. You guessing that? You know, no, nah, I do. can't do it. Yeah, I like make an appointment. I'm, I'm still appointment. Oh, you just come by? I'm like, no, 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 no. Let me know what time yep. is a good time to come by. Like, I need a time because that's when I want to get my haircut at that time. You know, five minutes before, five mm-hmm. minutes after, whatever. I'm not sitting down for an hour trying to figure out. No, you know, you got, if you got kids, you got a family. It's yeah. different. you know what I mean. You got things to do. Or you just get out of work. Oh, whatever. You're, you're like crazy tired, and, yeah, and then yeah. you got to sit with some guy trying to like push his fucking joint against your shoulder. Like, my child, bro. Like, just, yeah. just cut my hair. Stop, stop, stopping in the middle of it, having conversations. And you shit. ever had that barber that just get too fucking close? Yes. As we was talking about the nuts on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I've never experienced it. I, my barber always had that mean. You know when they do the front of your forehead. You got that ill lean. Yeah, you got to. With that oh, ball, I don't like to touch my lip. That ball tap. The other, ball other, lip. The yeah. other one, don't, don't, put your, don't put your goddamn finger on my lip, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> That's my doodle. My guy does that sometimes, but he wears uh, he wears the gloves. The black gloves. Yeah. There's nothing to complain about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that shit kind of just started, though. This whole COVID shit. I know. I love. I love some of the family. symptoms of it, like like the the whole like everyone trying to be like clean, wash their hands and stuff like that. Because how many times you go to the bathroom and you see somebody just like beat you out? You're like, bro. There's no way. Yeah, we yeah. we both got done at the urinal just about a second apart. How are you already walking out? I didn't hear no water. I hear no yeah, water come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why they look at you trying to talk to you while they, while they pissing? Nah, that don't happen. <laughs> that, oh, oh, you ever had a motherfucker give an next year? Yes, I had that happen to me. Yeah, yeah. You're breaking guy code. Yeah. You know you got to skip a urinal. There's three urinals there. They see a black man. They want to check it out. <laughs> nah, I'm not doing it. I got to see, see this. <laughs> this is real. Is it no, real? This is the truth. Hey, yo. And then you look, you look at him and say, hey, the water's cold. <laughs> and deep. I got a, a breeze going up. Uh, Fucking. Hey, do you ever, do you ever like, watch the shows? Watch your old. No, I don't. You ever look back at yo, that? Yo, oh, Pete. that's the gym. Shit. Yep. Pawtucket. Yep. Pete. Pete doesn't go on social I don't, media. I don't, I don't, don't know. I'm talking watching yourself. I know, just I don't even watch it. I don't even like to see myself on TV, to be honest with you. No. Oh, you going to watch the podcast? <laughs> you going to see me? Uh, look look at the stomping grounds, yeah. man. No, that shit brings back crazy memories. Yeah, it makes me feel... How, how, how was Sylvester? Good guy. How, how tall is he? I heard he's short. No, he's probably... He's supposed to be well, fucking he's rocky, like heavyweight five, champ. Probably 5'10". Like uh-huh. But he's wide, you know what I mean? He's big. Probably, if I were to guess, probably like 225. Oh. But he's solid. He's big. Yeah, yeah. Now he's an actual heavyweight. Not like it wasn't Rocky. He beat right, Antonio. Exactly. Fucking movie. He was I fucking. Think he was like one sixty. He's probably yeah. built exactly like Pop, except he Pop didn't take steroids. <laughs> I, I don't want to put that on slide, but I think we know he took some roids. But. <laughs> yeah, how, how, but yeah, how, Pop, how, Pop's five ten, two twenty five. Yeah, how so do you how do you get older and just start getting real big? Yeah, yeah. No, he's more solid. Veins. He's even yeah. more solid now. You see him on like that. What you call the uh, yeah. expendables? My bad, Sly, if I, if I put that on you, but I mean, you, you probably, I think... You, You're yeah. welcome to come to the show, too, though. All right, yeah, two, yeah. in 2022, <laughs> yeah. be, be open about that shit, boy. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you took steroids, you took steroids. You have, yeah, do you yeah. have any issues with anybody on the show? No. Like, uh, he just, it's, it's, uh, wait, but, I'm, I'm trying to think, because it was so long ago, but yeah. he, the kid Isha Smith gave us a little trouble. Uh, he was mouthy. Fellow, it was just mouthy, but it, that it, was it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So... Like, it almost came to blows one day on the show, but it was with Jesse Brinkley and him, and then I had Jesse's back if anything went down, but yep, nothing, yep. nothing ended up going down. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, I know Ishay Smith from the amateurs. Yeah, he had a big mouth all the time. He was yeah, good. He, was, he, was always, he always had a big-ass yeah. mouth, but he was, never, he was never really a winner. No, I don't know that. In the amateurs. I, I don't I, remember. I'm trying mm-hmm. to remember. I think, I think, I think it was, that's why I first met him. Like, you know, no, you're right. He, he got snatched up by um, a good camp. Was it Floyd's camp? And they tried to give him a run. And um, you're right. They got him like his first two wins in a long time because uh, he had a losing record for a while. But yeah, he was one of the that. favorites when he got he on was. the show. Yep. So he was one of the favorites to win it. Yep, yep. Um, How was uh, Sugar Ray meeting Sugar Ray? That was he cool. was awesome. He was yeah. a legend. You that know, guy's he was name. he was probably the coolest one. Like yeah. everybody asked me, who was you know how was Stallone and I'm like Stallone was cool. Don't get me wrong, but Sugar Ray, if I were to pick a guy to hang with, yep, it would be yeah. him. he was more down to earth. He was yeah, the man back in the day. Sugar Ray was the man. Hell yeah. One of the best of all time. You know speed, I mean? yeah. man. Smooth. He used to slap the shit. Yeah. Yeah. Do that yeah. fucking 100 punch combo on the motherfucker. Yeah. No. Devin Haney reminds me of Sugar Ray, but not as not as ruthless. Yeah. Okay. The pretty boy boxing, always smiling and, you know, smiling for the camera. Real movie star type Garcia shit. Garcia a bit, yeah. too. Good yeah. Ryan Garcia. But I was hating on I him like, hard. I like Haney. But I'm not anymore. None of them is mean as Sugar Ray, though. That motherfucker was mean when he fought. Yeah. You see him fight, fucking, they try to hold him. He, he go crazy. Yeah, he's one of the best finishers in the game. Yeah, absolutely. You know? Absolutely. absolutely. 
Sugar, sugar. If he had your hurt, he was getting you out of there. Yeah. You know, he was that type of guy. Like, I always wanted to go on there. I wish they would did a heavyweight. But you had that first season you guys was on? What weight was this again? I would have told him, eat my dick. Um, well, I had to make 157. <laughs> For real, because to go there? they were doing crazy shit before they fought. He said, yeah, I mean, I was walking around the show like 174, 172. And then I had to make, uh, obviously, 57. 57. Um, Kiss my the ass. The weigh-ins were the day of the fight. So, like, I, that was some amateur boxing shit. I was, I was shit. dead, yeah. yeah. I was dead when I had a fight. But Who's in 57 right now? I can't think of it. 157, yeah. it's like middleweight. 54? Yeah, 54. 54, 54 yeah. now. 60. Uh, is it, was that Spence? Mm-mm. Spence is 47. 47, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Who's that 54? Uh, one of Charlo. One of Charlo's. Yeah. Boo-boo, right? No, nah, Boobo was, was 60, trying to go up to 68. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Who's, uh, who, who, who is that 54 now? I don't know. You said it, one of the Charlos. That's all I know. Yeah, one of the Charlos. Uh, uh, Garcia? Mikey Garcia? No. Xavier? He, yeah, he, no, he, no, Mike Garcia was 147. He, he did 54. He, he, he should have been, been 47 either. Yeah, he shrunk down. Yeah, he, 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 he was, he's probably smaller than that. He was smaller than that. What do you think about the... Uh, uh, Jake Paul's at 140. 140. You know anything about the light guys? You watching them? Um, the Devin Haney, Javante Davis, Ryan. Got, you watching them? I know the names, but B- big I, names I, right now. Yeah, I yeah. don't watch. I just know the names. Yeah, oh, they're all pay per view. So you it's like, do I want to give these guys my sixty five dollars, my eighty dollars? They're, they're, they're pay per view, so I feel you. You don't fuck Lomachenko at all, huh? You don't know who Lomachenko is. Well, I know who it is because I heard of his name, but mm-hmm. I, I never really seen him fight unless I heard he lost to uh, Teofimo Lopez. I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Whatever, yep. But, yep. Um, I didn't know him before that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't. I don't study. But like, I would have never been a boxer if it wasn't chosen for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I had no choice. I had to be in the gym. Yeah. You know, and yeah. uh, I took a- I took my beatings growing up. I mean, I became. That's how I learned. To be tough, I had the no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah absolutely. Shit, hey, yeah. No, I, no. I have no regrets. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm glad I did what I did. You know, it helped me become who I am now. But I don't have no love for the game. If you yeah. put it that way, I mean, yep. I did what I had to do to make a living. Hey, that's, that's really life. interesting. You couldn't do no training, huh? That's what I was thinking. I don't even. I don't train. I don't do anything. Like, no, I, if no, I, no, I mean, training. You couldn't. You couldn't train anybody. Train people? No, because I don't have no interest in it. I'd rather be home. Like, I want to go to work every day, and I want to come home and relax, see my family for a little bit, eat dinner, and then go. I go to bed. Take a yeah. shower, go to bed. Simple things, huh? Yeah, I'm so a simple just, guy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, I don't do nothing. I don't, being tra- I don't get in trouble. Being trained is hard though, because especially boxers, like they like they follow you. Like you go home. The job's not done. They call you and they, you know, like if you have like a fighter, they'll call you and try to, you know, pick your brain out information or see what kind of diet they got to do or what time they have to be in for tomorrow. Can they come in at this time if they're that time? It, it, it's or or their problem become your problem. Yeah, exactly. If, yep. if they're not focused and shit, mm-hmm. they're yeah, a good fighter, but they can't stay out of trouble. I saw oh, Sean Bay. <laughs> Sean Bay is always he's always texting me. When I when I hear Pete Pete say that right, I feel like he like you like you're describing um your past career. It almost feels like you're describing like the military or something. Like you say like it made you who you was, you needed it, but but I don't even want to think about it. Get that shit. I don't have no love for that shit, but it but it made me who I was, but get that shit out of here. I'm done with that. And it's like that that's really interesting cuz like that's how I want to be when I retire. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Would you do it again? Yeah. If you had to pick, you could see you could see what you could see what your future is gonna be, and then this path right here, you do something else. You don't know what it is, but you do something else. Would you would you pick the same do same A&B, thing? Would yeah. you change? What like what, what would you do? No, I think I would do the same thing because it made me who I am today, mm. and I like who I am today. Yeah, yep. Word, yep. word, word. So exactly. But you know what that is though? It's 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 a true retirement. Anybody who yeah. has a full a full career, and when you tr- truly retire from that career. You want to have zero to do with it after that. Mm-hmm. You, you want to have nothing to do with it. You, no, but, but some guys stick around their sport. Some guys commentate. Some guys coach. And, yeah. And, yeah. But he's and like. Some guys, get, also, some guys also never retire. When they retire, they yeah, die yeah, because they, they don't stuck. know when to stop. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Like at some yeah. point, you got to just you yeah. gotta just say, you know what? I, that's That was great. Yep. It made me. I did well. Now it's time for me to start something new. You yep. know? Yep, and focus on family and all that stuff. That's that's crazy. That's deep. Like that's I never right. had a career in it, so I can I can I can, you know, touch box the rest of my life. It, it doesn't affect me because mm-hmm. I wasn't I was never that deep into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but there are certain things I'm, I'm into that once I'm retired, I'm done. Like I'm not I'm not gonna mm-hmm. I'm not gonna play the politics of it. I'm not gonna. 
go look up to see what's going on with it. Nope, I'm gonna be done with that. I'm gonna move on with different stuff. Yeah. Well, it's a little different for me because I was I was more of a boxer. I I didn't tr- train anybody, yeah. so I wasn't into it like that. Like where I can go to the if I go to the gym, I'm going for me. If I want yeah. to fight yeah. again, so I'm going for me. Like Eric will help me beat I, me up a little. I bit. I feel the same way. I I do the same thing. I go in there and I fight. But you tell me to train right. somebody, I'm like, I don't have the patience for it. I, right. I, I I don't feel like I know it all. That's Whereas right. there'll be a guy who knows way less than me, and he's a trainer. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Because they just. They got that mouthpiece. They, they like to talk. Give they, like the they like to hear themselves talk. Yep. You just took the words right yep. out of my mouth. That's yep. it. that's what I would say. So I don't have the desire to do that. Yeah. But if I wanted to fight again, I'll go back in the gym. That's it's my trade. That's what I know. <laughs> well, Elon Musk get that little chip they can put in your brain. You know, just put that shit in your brain. Put this mouse <laughs> neural link. Put, yeah, put this mouse in brain, and then while you're like working out, they can they can hear you training yourself, and then there you go. Because you can Down, train people that way. Download all the information. It's yep. only that easy. Huh? <laughs> yep. I, I, it will be one day. It will, it will be. Right. Just download the information. It's it's easy for me to do what I'm doing. Be to fucking train people. I rather do that. I don't. There's no way in fuck the hell I'm going to be fighting again. Nope. I don't got the drive. I don't got nothing. No, nope, I'm not. I ain't trying to be sleeping. I sleep in the bed. I ain't trying to be sleeping in the rain. Nope. Mm-hmm. I can't work hard the way I used to. I'm good. I'd rather get my little high from working with these guys and walking in the ring. I'm, it feels good. Then I don't got to take that one punch. Yeah, well, yeah. it's either you like it or you don't. You know? Yeah, yeah I, I can't do that. I can't do the boxing part. I do a little... A little working out just to stay in some kind of shape, but fuck what, that. Fuck that take punches. Well, I seen you work out when I was in there one day. Yeah, you fuck, I mean? fuck that take your punches in the face. I'm good. It's like riding a bike, though. Like, you could never forget. When you were hitting the bat, you were snapping your punches nice, nice. I said, guy, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you, hey. You know what you do? It's like riding a bike. You, you don't forget. 816, Douglas Ave, Providence, Rhode Island, Big Six Boxing. Uh, come by sometimes. You see Jason there. Tell him, tell him you beat his ass, and then tell him to... Uh, to uh, test you out in the ring. Tell him you want Sean Bay too. Beat, yeah, yeah. Say you want of, Sean Bay too. Speaking of riding a bike, what, what year was that last fight? Right at Twin River, you dropped him with a body shot. That wasn't too long ago. No, it was a couple of years, yeah. What was that, 2017, 2018? I don't know. I can't remember what I ate last night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but that liver shot, that was like riding a bike. Oh, boy, crumbled. That yeah, was I mean. I'm body watching shots, too. Body yeah. shots are terrible because it's like it's a knockout. But at the same time. Yeah. Or hurt your pride. You, yeah, you, you can see the guy above you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can tell yourself, like, oh, I want to get up, up yeah. but I can't get up. <laughs> yeah, tried, yeah. Pete Pete's like, come on, buddy, come on, let me, let me help you. I said, Holy come on, shit. Man, he'll pay a lot of money for me. Stay, I trained a long time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's even, the best even, even worse if you fight a nice guy who's going to help you up. He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like oh, I fucking hate to like you right now. <laughs> yeah. How's yeah. the family, though, Pete? How's, how's, how's the wife, the kids? Everybody's good. Everybody's great. My, my oldest daughter's 19. Yeah. How many you got now? That's crazy. I got three. 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 Nice. Yeah, I stopped when I made the boy. That's crazy. I remember, I remember your daughter was first born, bro. And I remember when your son was born. Because your son's what, 20, 21? 20. Yeah, yep. so. That's fucking crazy. We some nasty bastards. <laughs> 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 I know. Yeah, yeah kids young, huh? Yeah, you know, shit happens. Yeah. Shit happens. We said it before. Shit happens. <laughs> I was in the car when, when Jason told Pop that, he, that Lennox was going to be born. I was in the car in the passenger seat because I think we, we, J, uh, Pop was bringing Jay some money or, or something, and, uh, and Jay just I remember just looking at looking at Pop in the driver's seat like, some I gotta tell you something, something going down. I, I was sitting right there on the side like, oh shit, I'll never yeah. forget that. Yeah, I was yeah, man, my hands are sweating. Yep, arms heavy. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> Vomit on the sweater already. <laughs> Mom, spaghetti. Yeah. Hey, yo, listen, I, I, yo, it was it was because it was it was so. Un, un, what unscheduled? Is what we call it. Un, yeah, unexpected, unexpected, un- unscheduled. That shit was not on the calendar for me. Yeah, yeah. Spontaneous. It just happened, banging, yeah. man. I'm not gonna get into the details because that's some fucked up shit. But mm. you no, know, I, I damn sure. Oh, I know those details. I damn, I damn sure was 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 happy once once I told him it was all different. All the all the clothes started coming out. All the all, all the store all the store trips for me for him. Yeah, that was it was it was good then. But before that, up until that point. I was having fucking nightmares. Yeah, that's that was Olympic year too, right? Yeah, what am I gonna do? Oh, uh, no, uh, 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 yeah, that was a uh, right, yeah, right, yeah, right after the uh, the first Olympic trials in two thousand when I went. Yep, so, I, yeah, I remember he when he was with us. I remember when you was at the U.S. Championship. I don't, I don't know if I was there. I heard the story with him saying like, "You got to do this for your son." Mm. Like, right mm. before, uh, right before you won. Uh, I don't, I don't even fucking remember. I don't know. He's a little baby. Well, and one shit. thing about him anyway, like. 
he might have sounded young or seemed young, but he was very mature for his age. I yeah. think that's why he had all that success he had at a young age. Well, how many years were you guys running it, though, the three of you, man? You guys... People knew who they were running into when you guys were going to the tournaments. Yeah, people were running run from one way, running to run, run into uh, run from Matt, yep. X sixty five, running to Pete. Yep, they try to go up or, or, or run from Matt and running to me. Yep. So it was like in New England, we was fucking shit up big yeah. time. Yeah, the top three and from the same had, gym. Then you had Eric Fagan come to our gym too, and he was so we had the top four at one time. Yeah. yeah. You know. Then you go way, way, way back. When we was young in the JOs and shit. Yeah, like Nene. And we had guys like Nene who was like Watavedo. Sw- he was sweeping shit up and like his first year, you know, sweeping yeah. shit up. Yeah, he was a natural. But yeah, the yeah. streets, the streets, the streets are undefeated. Who's the, who's the, who's the dude Jay that would go all tournament without showering? Oh, Mike Oliver. Oh man, I'll never forget Dusty. that. I'll never forget Dusty. that. Dusty, shout out Mike Oliver. He's cool people's, but he's still Jay he's still heated. doing that shit. He was Last time I seen him, he had the same goddamn outfit on he had in the Olympic trials in 2000. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. Come on, Mike. You're going to be in the comment section. You're 40, you 41 years old. <laughs> come on. Man. Come on, Jay. Why old. you blast me like that on your, on your podcast? The same braids, too. He was hit like his head on grill. Yeah, your little brother, he don't even know me. <laughs> Bring me up. <laughs> nah, nah, Mike, nah Mike's, Mike's cool, dude, though. He was a good little fighter, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can fight. That's, that's a problem, though. He can fight so fucking good. But... If you're a roommate, if you're in a room with him, it's it's nothing nice. You want to kill that motherfucker. <laughs> you want to kill him though. We uh we almost got kicked out of uh, camp at the jails because we threw him in the shower with his clothes on. Yeah. He was it was hot that year too. He was stinking it up. Did but... him like boom? He needed nah, it. nah, nah, nah. He got he got boom beat. He got oh. boom beat. Oh, that's good to hear. Yeah, he, he got boom beat. Boom. boom thing is if he if he get drunk, he's a he's a waste. Oh shit! You get you gotta like. You gotta do something with him, you know. If he drinks something, he knows now though. He, he yeah, learned, you know he's good now. He, he learned his lesson years yeah. ago. We had to whoop his ass a few times. Yeah. We, we beat his legs like like they like they beat Rick James' legs <laughs> on the Chappelle show. <laughs> <laughs> we beat his legs in, in Jacksonville, Florida. He was saying, "Fuck my legs, <laughs> fuck your couch." Yeah, we beat his fucking legs. You never heard nobody do that, but you guys, you know. Yeah, that, we right? beat them. We, we had to. We didn't want to <laughs> beat them up. I remember one of these guys just played. I said, "What is beat their legs?" He was like, "Beat their legs so they can't walk." It hurts to walk. Beat their legs. Yeah, like, what the because, hell? Because he was so drunk. We was gonna go to, <laughs> what is that? We was all doing the Cisco thing. Wow. We was all drunk. There goes Cisco. Yeah. We was all nice, right? So we wanted, we, we said he's fucking drunk. We're going. We're gonna drop him off at the crib, and we're gonna go to a strip club. I never been to a strip club at all at that time. Yep. At all. We go drop him off. He starts crying in the back seat. Oh man, I want to go. You don't love me. You don't love me. So we make come on. We go, we're not gonna go. We're, gonna go. we're going to house. We're gonna sneak out. He catches us. Then he starts talking crazy. And my grandmother says, "Hey, you can't go with them boys. You ain't even right. Sit your ass down. You mess around, get somebody in trouble." Yeah. And he told her, "Shut the fuck up." Oh. But he was so drunk, so he would never do that normally. He was, yeah. he was so drunk, and when he said that, my folks turned around on him like. Like zombies who whooped his ass. Yep. And he was in there, his, left him in there asleep. Whooped his legs. Whooped his legs. <laughs> I mean, that used to be a thing, though, too. Like, the, you get the knuckle out. The oh, hippie, yeah. Hippie oh, ran yeah. the chai horse. Shit, yeah. I did that to, uh, who was froggy. it? Uh, 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 Jordan? Mm-hmm. Uh, Jordan Nico? You know, uh, Chevy? Oh, shit. Yeah. But thank you, he kept messing with me. And I was like, yo, chill out. Stop. <laughs> whatever. Like, and... and him and die with it, yeah. Uh, yeah he, he like he kept he kept messing with me, whatever like that. And then I was like, yo, yo, chill, like whatever. Like I'm, I'm not like everybody else here. Yeah, I, I really don't care. Yeah. Like, like, just stop, whatever. He kept messing, and I, I just tapped him in the leg. He's like, oh, my leg. Whatever. Hey, that, that's really shit. I'm not like everybody else yet. He, he told for a few I'm, people that I'm not your average bear. Yeah, yeah. And but then say he made and, it. And then I was never invited. <laughs> then I was never invited to Thanksgiving again over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, shit oh Pete, how, how old your son? My son is 14. 14. Damn. That's, that's a, a good age. A lot of fun stuff's happening right now. Yeah, first year in high school. Yep. He's doing good. Um, my other daughter's 16. And then my oldest daughter's 19. Any sports? Uh, Between the likes, three of them? He, he likes basketball. And my daughters do uh, competition dance. Cool. Yeah. Nice. So you got little athletes. Yeah. Nice. Competition cool. dance is not easy either. Yeah. They're like... They're like uh, gymnastics when it comes to like the, the coaches, yeah. yelling and screaming, and everything has to be organized and all that other stuff. Any of them show interest in boxing? No, thank God. <laughs> he said, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Well, you know what? I, knew, I really never had a choice. You know what I mean? So. Yep, yep. You, don't, you don't put them on the basics, though? 
Uh, like my son, eventually I'll show him if he he doesn't have interest to it. He like I, I let him do what he wants. I tried him with baseball. He didn't really like baseball. It was too boring. I tried him with football, contact football. He didn't like that. Yeah. Um, Box and I mentioned you want to want to want me to show you a little bit on the bag. He really has no interest in that. He mm-hmm. liked basketball, so I said if that's nobody, what you nobody like, fuck with him. Nobody does. Not where I live, anyway. Good. Yeah. No, good. 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 That's see, see, that's that's a beautiful thing. You still in Providence? Yeah, his ass to be right at Big Six well, Boxing Academy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of yeah. You, know, you got to. That's where I would bring him. Yeah. You got to because. <laughs> Can't have him off. Who, trying to bully. Who, who the fuck wants to hear their kid talking about, uh, 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 I got my ass kicked? Yeah. Well, he probably wouldn't say it. He wouldn't say it. You get a call. You get a call saying to come pick your kid up or whatever, and you think they did something. It's them who's the victim. Yeah, See, but it's, black diff- it's different today, though. I don't think they fight anymore. Social they media. Fights. They need to. They need to. They should. But they should. They don't. That's so much better. They want to kill you today. What? Well, yeah. You know what? Like bully you and yeah. The boys are different though. That's why. Because the the boys is like they'll fight, but it won't be like as crazy extreme in high school. But the the girls are like the worst. They're like the worst. They'll 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 fight a girl and then they'll follow her on everything, everything on social media, and mm-hmm. then they'll that that that, that little worst, two right? second <laughs> incident would, would turn into something that lasts for for whole school year. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, be yeah. You know, dragging yeah. it. They'll be, they be on Snapchat, TikTok, fucking Instagram, blasting you. Not really Facebook. Making really up lies. Facebook. Making up lies. Oh, shit. There we go right there. That's a competition on fucking. Oh, my oh, man. I, I was, you fucking take it. You, you took it off. I was, as soon as. Yeah. I didn't know anybody it's was all right. at it. That was the hill shit. When you guys were running up that big ass hill before you fought. Yeah. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, that, uh, what, might, what was I the was time? So sore, man. I was what so was the time difference? Like, like uh, you did that happen that day? That was the day before the fight. And then. <sighs> Then we had a weigh in the morning of the fight. My legs are so sore after running up that hill because we we were when we first went on that show. Like we were on a, for, for the first week, we were doing all these tests like to see if we were like mentally crazy, so mm-hmm. we can't get on the show. If we're gonna kill ourselves, we had to do all these crazy tests. So we were stuck in a hotel room, so we weren't even training. We weren't working out, so that's why when we did get on the show. I had trouble making the weight a little bit, which I always do anyway, but Mm -hmm. even more then because I wasn't training. And then, you know, we had to do that. Then we have to do this this competition now, and I was so sore because I haven't did nothing in a couple weeks, running up a hill with all these logs, and we were trying to win, um, which we didn't. (laughs) And and now, (laughs) and now. uh, Alfonso Gomez says, "Well, I'll fight Peter Man Freitler because he's having trouble making the weight. He's gonna so." I'll, I'll call him out, yeah. you know. But obviously they cut that out when it comes to the show because they wanted to make him look like a hero. You know what I mean? I'll fight Peter Manfredo. Yeah, he's yeah. So mm. they don't they don't want to see because why the reason why they cut that. So out. So who was the guy who was uh, winning all the competitions and then lo- lose the first fight? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, motherfucker oh, giving too, giving too much at the competition and then getting the fight and it's like uh, <laughs> I don't know. Jesse Brinkley was probably one of the best ones when it came to the competition, but they had Jesse. But they had all the bigger guys. They had Jesse Brinkley, Joey Gilbert. They were probably the two best guys when it came to the challenges. But then you had Ishay Smith, you had Sergio Mora, you had Miguel Espino. I was the biggest one on my my. Then who you have? Brent Cooper, yeah. Jeff Frazier. They were all small. Because I think know? I think I would have to remind myself to take it easy on the competition. I would I lose. lose. I would yeah. lose well, we, <laughs> because <laughs> I, I want to win. I want to win everything. So I'm yeah, like, right. I, you can't give it all in right. the fucking the hill yeah. climb, and then you get to the fight and you're fucking. And the, the competition was right. to gain advantage, so you yeah. burn yourself out. You didn't gain no advantage. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't well, gain you, no strategy. You yeah. didn't know until the end. So yeah. you tried to win. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking setup. Yeah. Yep. And and what's memorable about all this whole situation? About it being on TV is the fucking uh, the clown, the clown they got they got back that they were looking for him. I right, Newsy. <laughs> oh, oh, that was at the end. Yeah. What's that you talking about? I remember. I right, Newsy. Uh, uh, a situation with him. I guess he was uh messing with a, a younger girl or some shit. Um, one uh, of them. Yeah, but he was looking for him, and he found his ass at over the there. in the back. In, oh, in, the, in the, the crowd. In the finals in the crowd. Got him. ESPN <laughs> live. Got him. Sorry. Yeah. It happens. I, 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 hey, you're trying to be seen. Yeah. Sit your fucking ass down somewhere. Stayed low. <laughs> you, you know you ain't got no business out here. Everything catches up to you anyway. You, do the, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's coming back. I, I just had to say that because that's that's I, always I, a funny situation to me. Uh, I don't fuck with him anyway. Uh, but how long was the whole season? Like, Yeah. It sounded like you I said did. you were fighting the next day yeah, and shit. Yeah, so we were there for like seven weeks total. Wow. So there was a fight every three days. Yeah. 
It was like it was in the amateurs again. Then. Yeah. What was the like living situation like? We all live together. Camp style, like everybody's yeah. in the in like a big house. The east, the east would be on one side of the the, the house or the apartment, yep, yep, and yep. the west would be on the other side. Yeah. And uh, but the other side is in kind of right next door. Yeah, so we we're all together. See, we don't know how much that's editing um, when we're watching. We're right. like, we're like, do they really live in this house? Or is this just for the part of the show oh, no, too? We yeah, there. and then yeah. we only got to go home. Like some, they brought my wife out with my daughter, and then other people's families out, and they put them in a separate house. So, like, the day before we had, say we had a fight, the day before the fight, we, they would allow us to go home and live with them for a little bit. Uh, oh, yeah, that, I remember just that. Just for that night. I remember you know, that. And then we had to go back. It was a good part of the show. You get to hug the kid and, and everything. Yeah, I remember that. See your family that's terrible, bit. man. Yeah, that's that, hard. That's right? terrible. It's thinking harder. Because then they got to go. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Do, do you would think after you fought and won, you want to spend some time with your wife and kid, and you yeah. can't do that mm-hmm. either, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, especially because you see them in the audience, right? Yeah, you see them, and right. then they go their way, you go your way. Yes, Dude, that's, yes. Like, that's like the military. Right? You know those, the, you <laughs> know those terrible. scenes when they when they would come in and you're sitting on the table in the in the back. They would do it before and after, and there's like a shower behind you. Right. Um, were those were, were those interviews really close to that time, or is that all editing? Like, was it really right before the fight when you're sitting on that table with your hands wrapped and they're talking to you in the robe and everything? Was, was that really right before the fight, or is that editing? Oh, after you don't remember. Yeah, it's probably too, it's just all too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, that's stuff that we don't know. Cause yeah, because I wonder if they just like they have you like, you know, they ask you questions that like uh, can be anything almost. Right. It's, it's exactly. like it's like questions where like you can play it either way, but like they just record you wrapping your hands, even though it's not right before the fight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, yeah. no, no. That, see, that was all. Right legit, though. That was all before. The oh, oh, it was. Oh, oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. You probably just ask ten million questions and then they take what mm. fits. Take mm. with me. Yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. Actually, they did. Yeah. 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 Imagine they would, they would have kicked my punk ass off the show. Yeah, you were like, you're playing talking. <laughs> I'm just here so I don't get fired. They would kick Marshawn Lynch before Marshawn. Yeah, they would kick me off. I'd have been starting trouble. Like I'm going to the house to start trouble right off rip because I watch. I watch. Real not, world, not, not the shit. boxing shows, but like real world. I just watch all that shit. Making a band I would go in there and start so much trouble, man. They might kick me out. They might, they might just keep me. Or they nah. might surround me entertaining. Yeah, no, they're fighting to entertaining. Yeah, I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in, and I'm acting like the big guy. It could be a fucking dude six eight in there, but I'm acting like like it's some prison shit. I'm starting trouble. I'm taking niggas juice. You know, they got the juice to fill with the name on. I take their juice. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. I think I'd be the complete opposite. I'd be in that bitch that's in the corner. I ain't talking to nobody. Silent. Head down. I ain't yeah. worried about nothing but fighting. That's it. Yep. Just focus. Like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. That's it. Well, that was the thing. You didn't know who you were going to fight. Yeah. So your head spinning. You could fight any day. You don't know what day. If I can make the weight, I got to make the weight. I got to yeah. weigh in tomorrow. You don't yeah. know. I wouldn't been there to be a team player. I just would. Everybody, everybody's getting there. I don't know who. You're an ass. He's an asshole. And then I, I don't show off for the camera. I've just been sitting there. Just you were, He would have been. He would. They would have got him off the show some kind of technically. Yeah. They would have been like, yeah, we're not going to have you because... Uh, you are bringing our ratings down. You're scaring, you're scaring us. <laughs> so you're scaring the children. You say the quiet one? Yeah, so I was on the East I was on the East Coast, and we, they won just about every challenge. So we were always out there, there back in call, as in we didn't know if we were going to fight. We always had to be ready. We always had to make way, be ready to yeah. fight, because we never knew. But they had it better because they knew, all right, who feels like we won today again? Who, who feels like going up to fight, and who do you want to fight? You know, so... They they had it better when it came to that that part because they would win the challenges. But yeah, Fuck. if I were to do it all again, would I do it again? Yes, absolutely. Because I met, I became who I, I am today. You know, and I met a lot of good people. I still talk to Jesse Brinkley every day. Uh, Brent Cooper. Uh, yeah, Jesse's cool. Jesse's awesome. He's like a brother to me. You know. <clears throat> so Jesse might take up too much time. How many seasons did they do total? They they came back. I think they did like four. Four. Yeah. This would be another show that they bring back. They should. Well, well, they actually did bring it back. Oh, did it? On a different, on a different station. It just kept failing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it, it, was, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, wasn't, well, you know how they, wasn't Gingrich on it? You know how they redo yeah, everything? Oh, on, oh, no. uh, Sugar, Sugar Shane's son. Yeah, Bellotto. Yeah, Bellotto. Yeah, Mo, oh, yeah, Mosey yeah, Jr. Mosey Jr. Yeah, Mosey Jr. was on it. They'll have Duck. Mosey was on the last one. They'll have Duck and Ted. Mosey Jr. Shane Mosey's son. Just doing YouTube special. No, no, no. You did good though. You got far. Yeah, yeah. I remember. Who who won? Who won that last one? Uh, Stocky, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember his name, but I'm. You know, you know who Shane Mosey Junior. is. Of course. Yeah, it did, it did kind of keep failing, and then um, 
I don't know if it, if it had anything to do with it, but that UFC one. That UFC one that was dope. excelled. It's funny. They're on like season 15 or some shit. They act up too. They, 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 they act up. Crazy they make, they make it worthwhile to watch. Was it Rampage that went punching through doors and shit? Yeah, yeah destroyed that door. Them thin ass doors. Yeah, that door, okay. the theater door. Door the fake ass door. Made of paper. <laughs> Sesame Street. <laughs> well, that's the difference between it. MMA is just much more popular than boxing today. And I'll give you an example. So I fought in Canada. I fought at the, the Montreal Bay, Canada, or whatever, the, the casino there. And it mm-hmm. was held about maybe 2,500 people. So we sold that place out. I fought, uh, I fought Wally Chmache. That night they had um, MMA, UFC at the Bell Center. And that's where the Canadians play. And it's, that holds probably like 20, 25,000 people. And that was sold out. Mm. So I fought in the day. They fought at night. So how, how can you compare 20-something thousand to 2,000? You know yeah. I mean? That's just yeah. people getting ready and just going there and getting ready for that. Mm-hmm. People like that, it, that's why it, it just makes more money. Yeah, it's very It, it makes more money for the it promoters. Yeah, yeah, they love it. Yeah. You know I mean? yeah. And then they get incentives. Like you get knock out of the night, things like that, bro. True. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I, I, st- yeah. I want to stand on my feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, can't, I, can't, I can't do it. I don't have it in me to... To quit either. If somebody got me in a choke or they got me some kind of move, I'm going to bite them. Yeah. <laughs> right. I'm going to reach for the eyes. I'm going to go for the nuts. I'm going to do something. I'm not, I'm not. You're survival of the fit. Survival's coming out. Quit, quit. Yeah, survival's right. coming out. Survival, right. I'll get disqualified first. Yeah, right. that yeah. stuff is weird in that way because it's almost like you have to be able to to be a quitter at the same time. It's true. It's like yeah. a respect of the, the yeah. sport. It's like, ah, right, you got me respect. You got me. Yeah, yeah, otherwise, it's like, you're that's fucking arm you're quitting. Be broken. You're quitting. Yeah. yeah. You're still quitting. You're going to tap out. You're, sick. you're going to be done. That's I think it. if I if I got ever when they rip your fucking arm out your shoe. If I had to quit like that, you know, like, yeah. like in, in that kind of way where you have to quit yeah. or else you're like, you're not going to be able to eat for, you know, a few months Extra because yeah. now you're not gonna be able to fight because your arm's broken, whatever like that. You got you got to think about that exactly. kind of stuff. Joe, Joe um, Rogan explained it like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it kind of makes you like, like I don't know if I could just be normal after, mm. you know, after qu- quitting. Not like you're so tired and you're fighting and you lose or something like, like a boxing match. Like quitting, you literally have to tell somebody I can't fight anymore. I'm done, and mm. then you get up and you're perfectly fine. Every everything's yeah. normal, you know. Yeah. You quit in boxing. You know, you know, hurt your soul. Yeah, yeah. What's his name? You're allowed to lose in UFC too. That's another thing. You can't lose in boxing. You lose in boxing, your name is tarnished a little bit. That record's tarnished. It's like somebody's oh gotta go. All that shit. They don't do that in in UFC. People right. run. It, doesn't, it doesn't make much of a difference. You can yeah. yeah, you can lose. Boxing, yep. you're only as good as your last fight. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep. What have you done for me lately? Type thing. Yeah. Like I said, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to wrestle with nobody. I don't want their balls on me. Yeah, I don't want to feel like, yeah, nope, nope, I can't. I, yeah, It grosses me out right now just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. You ever see them practice? They have to go at like 30% speed. So they, now they're doing the balls on the chest thing slow. Slow, slow motion. <laughs> Dude, and, slow. And, and, <laughs> you know, they said everything looks cool in slow speed, motion. Yeah. Not that. Not that. Damn, man, you got to sit on my chest and super slow. slow mode now? Do it sexy. <laughs> Fuck, man. Hey, turn around. Wrestling out turn around and go like this. Give me the tiger claw. <laughs> hey, it's a really... Really, and hey, listen, it's a really strong fighting style too. But the learning it is crazy. The learning it is, looks crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, you gotta yeah, say, I can't, I can't yeah. do it. It's not in me. Those guys, I don't have it in me. I got, I got all the respect in the world because those Big guys, time. those yeah. guys can fight. They're oh, absolutely, they're yeah. fighters. Oh, yeah. absolutely. We're, we're yep. boxers, so we're more, we're more of an art. We're mm-hmm. more like an artist, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They don't have no sugar rays. No, ex- well, exactly. They don't have that paint burst. They don't. Uh, they can mean. fight. If you're, if you're gonna go on a fight. On the street, I ra- I'd rather know MMA than, yeah, in, than boxing. You know true, what I mean? True, because true. Yeah. you get the guy on the yeah. ground. I'd like to know both. Yeah, I feel you. Right, on that. right. Yeah. But so, and when it comes to entertainment, they want to see someone getting fucked up. Big but time. Even me, with boxing, they want to see the bangers. They don't want to see yeah. Floyd box, Mayweather. But boxing is more of an art. Like I, I want, I appreciate the art of boxing. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yep. So I, I want to see that. I want to see the finesse, like a Sugar Ray Robinson. Yeah, that's what the boxers mm-hmm. want to see. Right. Yep. But the average MMA, fan, they just want to see blood. That's why I don't watch MMA. I'm not a fan of that. Like, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I want to mess with those guys, but I'm not a fan of that. It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a legalized I'm, street fight. I'm definitely not a fan of MMA live. I've seen it on TV. It's one thing. i seen it live. They were just balled up in a corner. I, I couldn't see shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, that happens every show. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Stuffed in a corner. I don't want to hear about huh? it, bro. You got that? You want to ask Pete that question? Yeah, that shit. Cool. You cool with that, Pete? Whatever they want. Yeah, it was funny. All right. uh, uh, there was uh, things online saying, "Yeah, uh, all you women who want to dismen." You guys hear that, right? Yeah. 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 You get that. Get that cool. rose. <laughs> you can hear. It. Get yeah. that rose to shovel. Yeah, get that hey, rose to uh, shovel. Uh, uh, 
Hey, How what's up? Is this uh, JJ Souza? Yeah, this is me, man. All mm-hmm. right, hey, yeah. This is the uh, Four Brother Podcast. We have uh, Peter Manfredo here, Junior. Uh, I heard you wanted to ask him a question. Uh, he can hear you yeah. right now. What's I, I'd like to ask him a question. How are you, champ? How are you doing? I'm okay. Good, good thank good. you. Good, I hope all is well. So I just have a question, and I'd like to ask this question to guys and maybe the panel itself um, because it's a concern of mine. My question to you t- today is what do you think boxing – where do you think boxing's heading today than when it was when some of you guys fought? I mean, you guys fought often. You fought on TV. I these guys are fighting more on social media than they are in the ring. And what do you think about these YouTuber guys? Are they helping boxing or are they hurting boxing? Uh, that's a good question because I really don't know. You know, um, are they hurting? But I don't, I don't know if they're hurting boxing because they're putting boxing out there. I mean, yeah. that's... That's my answer for it. I, as long as boxing's out there, it'll always be talked about. It'll always be good. Uh, all media is good media. Um, am I a fan of it? No. Uh, where is it today as in it was before? I think before, back in our day, you needed a lot of skill. Where today you don't need it. You could be a YouTube star and make a lot of money. Yeah. You know? Uh, yeah. Social media kind of helps guys make a lot of money today. It's a yep. di- different avenues today than it was in my day. Um, we we had to right. come up. We had to come up with nothing. You had to actually really have talent. Like my the guy sitting to the left of me, Jason Estrada, made the two thousand yep. Olympics. He had to be very. He was very skilled and talented. You know what I mean? He had he made the Olympic team, and then he went on to turn pro. And he had to work hard to to get where he got, and and get the opportunities he got. And me, if it wasn't for that contender show, I probably wouldn't have made. The money I made, you know, I had to get on TV and, and make some money and, and make a name for myself. So it was harder back in my day, I think, than it is today with the social media. I think social media helps guys today where you don't have to be as talented and you can make a lot more money. Absolutely. So that would be and, I, and, and, and if I could please ask another question, is that OK? Yeah, no problem. So and, and, and Jason could, could probably answer this also. I feel that the YouTube boxing is, they want to see a lot of action packed. Are those same fans that are coming to see the Paul brothers fight, if you will, um, going to sit and watch a technical fight, a chess match, guys that are uh, technically sound and it's, 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 you know, all skill, you know, and it's not an exciting fight. Are they going to get bored with it? Are we bringing in true boxing fans? And to follow up on that question, what do you feel about these fighters today fighting maybe once or twice a year and not as much as you guys did like Jason and yourself where you guys fought often and that's how you got your fan base. I feel we got so much talent out here now in the boxing world, but we're not seeing the fights. And so what do you think about that? And that would be my last question. And I thank you for taking my call. Hey, hey, this is Jason. Um, I, I, I feel that it's, it's all, um, it's all not. It's it's not, it's not really the actual fighters that's, that's having a problem. It's it's more of a the promotion, and, and then you have these guys who who are scared to fight each other. It's all about like before back in the day. Well, I know I'm not gonna say back in the day like it's been a hundred years, but <laughs> when I was fighting, I, I me personally, I didn't I didn't give a shit about uh, oh I want to fight whoever whoever was a good fight for me who, who and who um who gave me a good challenge. That's why I wanted to fight. I didn't care about I didn't care about losing. Not that I wanted to, but I didn't care. Like I just like to fight. So now these guys are in this moment where they're saying, "Oh, am I the A side? Am I the B side? I don't want to. I want. I want. I want my. Oh, I don't want to. Um, I don't want to fight with these kind of gloves. I don't want to fight with that kind of gloves. Businessman. It's 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 all about business. That's not about fighting anymore. That's what the real problem is coming in. And as far as these YouTubers, I I, I can't really be mad at them, especially guys like 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 Jake Paul. I can't. It's hard for me to be mad at him when he's giving opportunities to other fighters. To make a hell of a lot more money than they would have been if uh if the situation had been different. So that's but but as far as other guys, the other YouTubers, I don't know them. I don't and, and I, I have no clue who they are. I don't know what they're kind of boxing, what, like what kind of boxing they have. But I do know that the, that uh, at least Jake, he's 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 trying to improve. He's fighting. Yeah. He's fighting like an actual guy who's trying to improve. Because if you look at guys' records, they they all fight a lot of trash at the beginning. You, you right, can go. Right. You can go from the greats. They fought a lot of trash. This mm-hmm. guy, he's fighting guys that, at least, like you can get beat up by an MMA guy. It's not like he's right. a great, great, great boxer. He's a new guy, trying to work on his craft, and he's fighting 
people who actually fight, whether they're old or whatever, it's, it's, it doesn't really matter. He's going in there, he could possibly lose. You know, he, he's been cracked a few, a few times. It, shit happens. So right. I, I, I like where that's going. But as far as like anybody else who I don't know them, I can't speak on them. But as far as the, the Paul brothers, I'm I'm okay with them guys. I'm okay with them. Yeah, I, I I think I think they're great for you know the business and bringing attention to it. You know what I mean? And 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 I and I'm not not hating on him by any means. But I just feel that today's boxing and like you said, it might be because of the promoters. I think years ago, and you might be able to answer this and, and, and uh, uh, Peter is that years ago, you wanted to be the best fighter out there. Yes. Today yeah. you want to be the richest fighter. So Absolutely. you don't want to lose that zero. So I think that's the difference. And I think what we're missing in boxing today are guys like yourself and like Peter Manfredo and, and, and uh, Daryl Coley and a lot of these guys, you know, Scott Hamilton, the guys that fought often, uh, and, and didn't they wanted to be the best boxer in the world? They didn't. They didn't care about the zero. And like you just said, so I, I agree with you. And again, guys, hey, great show! I listen to you guys all the time on Spotify. I'm going to continue to follow you. Thank, Thank you for you. taking my call. Thank I really, you. really appreciate it. And hey, hey, be safe. And and Peter it was great talking with you. And Thank Jay, you, you also. Much. Thank appreciate you. It. All right, thanks. Thanks for coming yeah, out. Bye bye. Thanks, man. Bye bye. That's good. Right, that was cool. <clears throat> I guess it's good. Good. listen. I real subscribe, but that was awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, we get some, we get some extra, get some extra love. Yeah, so, but but what what he's hitting on is is crazy. Uh, what we're watching in boxing is we're watching all these young guys learn the business aspect of the sport. It's not about um, fighting the best anymore, and it's not about um, coming in raw with the no shirt on, with the no socks like Tyson used to do. Now they're businessmen, and it, and, it, and it's that's what we're watching. And it, it, of course, there's positives to it, but. It's it's hard to blame them too because at the yeah. end of the day you want to make money. Oh, yeah, you, know, yeah. you got to feed your family. There's no retirement plan in boxing. Yeah, so you want no health care as, as no much out of it yep. as you can. So if you the point if you of think the game is to make as much money as you can the yep. fastest time. Yeah, yeah. So, so if, you, if you're putting yourself in a position where you may too. lose and you have the option to go this way and make more money yeah. or a lower that risk, way. you're gonna go yep. that way. But but you have to be a special type of person to say no. I want. The yeah. hardest fucking fight I can yeah. do. I'm going to beat yeah. anybody. I'll beat fucking that, King though. Kong. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. only a few of those. So, so, right. so he, about your, yeah. so about your mental and how you, um, if you can sleep at night. Yeah. You know, some he people, brought a good question up too. He said, what kind of fans are we bringing in by changing the sport in this way? Cause I, I think, I think in that way though, we're going to bring good fans into it just for, I mean, they're going to bring good fans in at some point because what's going to happen is just like everything that goes social media, it fades. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. You're bringing fans over. Some of those fans, the ones that are probably, you know, generic fans yeah. will leave. Yeah. And then of those people that originally got on from a YouTuber. Percent will stay for yeah. a real box. You get more fans. You get younger fans. Yeah. You make it some young, you know, 13-year-old who would have never watched boxing. But now you get him watching boxing. Next thing you know, he's like, oh, I want to be like Jake yeah. Paul or he the Paul Brothers. KSI. Yep. Yeah. He I want to go. Be good, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 Next thing you know, he's in the gym. You got a new fighter who says, you know, in 20 years from now, they says, oh, yeah, I grew up watching Jake Paul fight. You know, I grew up watching my favorite YouTuber, uh, KSI fight. That's why I'm fighting, you know. Mm. I don't know about KSI. He, he, he beat Logan. He beat Logan. Logan. Yeah. one and one right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I got to go. Two and one. I think he, he beat twice. Yeah. twice, I think. Yeah, did he, did he, yeah, I think he beat, him, he beat him twice. One with a headgear, one out of headgear. Oh, I thought they were one and one. I just, I don't, I don't know about none of the YouTubers fighting, really. No, except for, like, except for Jake Paul. Jake, right? Jake Paul and and right behind him, Logan Paul, are probably the only YouTubers, the main YouTubers who actually seem like they train to actually fight like that. You know, everyone else trained for a fight. Like those guys actually seem like they like they're training to actually fight. They stay they stay in shape and stuff like that. Um, and they they have the money already. You know, they're doing it for you know obviously money too. But like Jake Paul, Logan Paul, those guys are already rich. You know. I mean, there's, they're not, you know, it's not going to do anything for them besides maybe hurt their career. Or maybe some, if they lose, like they get knocked out and then they're, they're the meme all over the world. Yeah. You, know, you know, but they're, you know, I mean, I don't see it as, as a bad thing. I can't see it as a bad thing when you're bringing people to a sport that were getting overrun by MMA. So, I mean, right. without that, we were, I mean, boxing was, was getting pushed to the side anyway because of MMA and, and football and, and, um, you know, the NBA and the W. No, I mean, no. Um, and then some other stuff where <laughs> it's a damn shame, man. Hey, bottom line. We, we might have yeah. a YouTuber uh, fighting out our gym, right? 
What's his name? Sam? Yeah, Sam 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 Hyde. Uh, Sam Hyde. Sam yeah. Hyde. Look him up on YouTube. Sam Hyde. Funny, funny character. The new pill, Super right? Super duper funny. Is yeah. that the name of the page? The new pill? The new I pill. Mean, yeah. yeah, he got he got he got a little uh he got a nice he got a nice following. Oh, fight got canceled? Oh, ain't that uh, a bitch? Uh, Remember the little math teacher that, that uh, won the yeah. Golden Girls real quick? Well, what did he win? He won a couple Ma- of fights. Mama right? Khan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he sets up that YouTube fight in the future, we're going to have it at our gym. Yep. A16. Post it on the channel. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, math teacher was actually, uh, wasn't he Bubba's tutor? And then he just, he won the box after? No. Or, he, or which one was Tim, first? Tim's which tutor. One? Yeah, it was Tim's teacher. teacher. At, oh, at yeah, Professor Brown. Ed Brown. He, ended, he was Bubba's tutor for a little bit too. Oh, that was oh, he was tutoring at the uh, gym. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. He yeah, was helping yeah. him out. Oh, uh, that's cool. That's cool, right? Yeah. And but then he went to Golden Girls and won. Yo, looking he, all goofy and he shit. He actually did his thing. He Big was time. strong as hell. He stayed behind his jab the whole night. That shit was crazy. Like he just stayed behind. His that's got to be like a huge accomplishment as like an adult, as a goofy but, ass math teacher. Especially yeah, you're a math teacher and, and you then you think can, about the angles. You can tell all your students that you pocket the protector, gloves. bro. Pocket protector <laughs> type nice. dude. He had an ascot. And he, he did he his thing. Oh, oh, he's done in DC, ain't he? No, and, um, oh, New Mexico. New Mexico, oh, yeah. Him. He did his thing. That was yeah. fun to watch. That was crazy. Yeah, I enjoy I enjoy watching him. He, he, he had heart. He made, he made me laugh. He made me laugh because I'm I'm looking like, who the hell is this guy? Then he got in the ring and spar. He sparred somebody and he busted their ass. I was like, oh, oh, we got a problem here. <laughs> Goofy style. Because I was training him for a little while. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's so tough. Then he talked to Pop one day and he, I guess, I guess what you, Pop broke it down into some kind of, School terminology for him to for him to understand it, the angles of some shit. Oh shit! And this dude really threw that shit to perfection. Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, if it works, it works. Shit, I. Huh? So you do it. What, what are you gonna do? All right, so uh, we're gonna let Peter go pretty soon. But before we let him go, we're gonna need him to sign these uh, these gloves over on the uh, yeah, whatever you want, right behind you. I can do whatever you want. Yeah. Every show, whoever is the fifth brother of the show will be signing the honorary boxing gloves. He's been cool. he's been our brother for a long time though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I'm 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 thinking did uh did I didn't did I help hook you up with, with your wife? Like we went on a double date or some shit? No? I don't think so. Cause, <laughs> cause what wasn't her friend the girl Michaela? That I that, that I was huh? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, I got that. Oh, that's a small world. Yeah, we okay. We brothers, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it, was all, it was all good, man. That's fine. It was all good. No, I'm just kidding. All right, all right guys. Uh, thanks for listening. We're going to get out of here. We're going to probably have our own little conversation for, for a little bit. Um, thank you again. Coming back to the show. Uh Thank Comment, you. like, subscribe. Thank you guys for having me on. It was good to be here. Of course, Pete, man. Thanks Pleasure, for coming, Pete. Always, Anytime. thanks. you my brother. Shout out to the Spotify listeners. Shout out to the YouTube viewers. Yeah. Stop fucking around. Subscribe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop just watching the video. Yeah, you, you got to press the button. Yeah. Man. Yeah, so just so you guys know about uh, 61% of the people watching this video are not subscribed. Uh-oh. Thank you. That's too high. That's how you know. Yeah. Huh? You know that shit? How yeah, you know? I do. The stats. I, 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 yeah, I can look at it. The ass already analytics. knows people watching from Germany. Yeah, that, that, that too. <laughs> <laughs>